Are you the parent of a child actor who received their first self-taped audition? Or maybe they've been receiving self-taped auditions, but you want to improve them. Well, this video is going to give you some great tips that are going to help you help your child record a successful audition. Hi, my name is Diana Ivelisse and I am an acting career consultant that specializes in helping parents of young actors. If you like what you see today, make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you are notified every time I release a new video like this one, as I do every Wednesday. Okay, so I'm going to share some footage from some of our most recent auditions and then I'm going to talk a little bit about what we're doing and how we prepare for them. Area, area, so during the slate, you're going to be looking here. After the slate is over, you're no longer looking at the camera, okay? All right, not even for a second. You're going to just keep looking at the bowl and that, bowl and that, and you're not going to turn your back to the camera, okay? So for your slate, you're going to say your name and your age, and you're going to smile at the camera. We're going to be loud. We're going to project. Hello, my name is Ariel Wolf, and I am six years old, and smile, okay? So hey guys, hey guys, thanks for being here today. Hi. Hi. All right, so today we're gonna to do exactly what we did last time. You, they're not looking at me, they're looking at the camera. The camera's right here. We're gonna do the same thing that we did last time. You're going to slate, and then we're gonna have you guys interacting together. You're baking cupcakes. Ariel, you're the boss. You're gonna be giving dad some, some instructions, and you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna dance. It's, it's all good, okay? All right, fun time. All right, so we're gonna start with the slate. Stop looking at me, Ariel. You're gonna look at this camera right here. She actually needs to be looking at the, forgive me, she has to be looking at the, at the screen for this because they're gonna be on the screen. So when no. you're looking at the camera here, it looks like they're looking above them because of where the camera, on my computer, when you're using this, it sits above the camera. So when you're looking at this, it looks like you're not looking at the person on the screen, it looks like you're looking up. Okay now, who's the coach? <laughs> no, but seriously, that was a good tip though. That was a good tip. Above them. Okay, so again, so, we're gonna look at the people on the screen, okay? People on the screen, all right? You're not looking at mommy. I do not exist, not now and not for the audition, all right? Only camera, only people on screen and daddy. There are only two people that exist. All right, so let's get started. All right, you good, Ariel? Yeah, it's so. Okay, so action, slate. Hi, my name's Ariel Wolf and I'm six years old. Awesome. And I'm Travis Wolf Sr. Okay. And I'm Travis Wolf Sr. Yeah, let's not, let's not <laughs> open ended question. Open ended answer, I mean, whatever it's called. Response. Response. He doesn't say his age too? <laughs> huh? He doesn't say his Mommy age too. Not to, oh, adults do not say their age. age adults never say their age. Oh. Oh. Once you turn 18, once you turn 18, you no longer say your age. So make sure you guys take that note. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get started. Okay. So action. Hi, my name is Ariel, and I'm six years old. And I'm Travis Wolf Sr. Okay, when I was saying action, I meant action on the scene. Let's get started. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> action. My six-year-old is a very creative child with a big imagination like most, but I find that we still have to break down a scene with children the way a more mature actor would break down a script. If we are given any context as to what the project is about or what would happen at the audition, we have rehearsals. You would be surprised how often a kid will forget their slate even when they have done it for several auditions in the past. Also make sure that you arrive to auditions a little early. For in person, about 15 to 20 minutes and for Zoom auditions, about 5 to 10. That way you can see if there are any notes about changes to the audition like we had for this one. Well, I hope these tips have been beneficial for you. Make sure you stay tuned because we have more to come. But if you have any questions that are related to self-taping, make sure that you include them in the comments below so that we can get them answered for you. So now we're getting started with the second part of the day, which is Travis's Big audition. Why are we saying it sarc like sarcasm? It is <laughs> Anyways, um, so right now we're about to prep. Um, we, uh, you see the backdrop and stuff in the background. That's not how it's going to be for the self tape right now. I just have it propped up because we have to do the um, the slate. Usually, when you do the slate, 
you want to see the full body so sometimes you want to do it long ways um vertical so that you can see the full body but when it's time to actually do the self tape you want it to you hear my husband saying <laughs> you want it to be horizontal um because they only really for the actual self tape they only really want to see from like the stomach up they want it to be very close so that they can see the acting they can see the expressions on his face and my husband just walked in in the middle of my vlog Thank you. No, it's okay. Oh, it's a vlog. It's a vlog. I mean, right. this is real life. You might as well just peek in and say hi. Nope. <laughs> right now, we're just kind of going to discuss the script. Um, you should always, for big projects, for all projects really, but especially the really big ones, the ones that you've been waiting for, you want to do some good research. And what we found out with this particular project, we're not going to mention what the project is, but for this particular project, it's a it's a book right yeah. it's a film that's going to be made off of a book and we didn't know that until we did our research so once we found that out we found the audio version of the book on script is on it's also on audible as well um so travis got on that and i also got on it and we started reading the book so we were actually able to read the scenes from his script which is, you know, going to help Maybe a lot. Helpful. Yeah. So anyway, um, so we're going to start talking about the script a little bit because this is kind of like what we always do before we get started. It kind of helps him get through it a little bit easier. So you said that you had problems kind of understanding, like connecting to the story, the character, or... Yeah, I don't... The vibe... Yeah, I don't really understand like how like, how it's supposed to like how I'm supposed to act. Because I mean, there's a huge age difference. For one, I've changed my voice, which is pretty difficult because it's pretty deep and I have to make it a lot, a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. But um, I can't really tell. Like I can't really. I don't understand the emotion behind like what like what's going on in this scene. Like, well, this tone. okay. So first of all, I don't think you need to change your voice. I think you need to. Like not change it to something different. Alter it a little bit. Just try not to talk with the bass, with the what is it that calls a diaphragm, diaphragm? You know, like because you have two different voices. When you're playing and being funny, you have like sometimes it's kind of like squeaky like voice. And then when you're like serious like this, when we're like discussing something, you start getting into the <laughs> the who was it? Perfection. The very white voice. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I think you need to just get in touch with that like goofy spirit you have when you have that lighter voice but um as far as the script so what i'm getting from it it's not something that's like super big and cheesy like a disney or netflix i mean excuse me not a netflix um a cheesy like a disney or um a nickelodeon kind of feel but it is for a younger audience you are playing around like 11 or 12 ish so you want to still have like a youthful attitude so like a i guess like a more of like an immature kind of feel an experience you know what i mean um but i don't think it, it's big and it, and then it's it's the tone of the film is more of like drama more of like you know thriller kind of deal so i feel like it's important to do research on a project your child is auditioning for if the project is a remake has prior seasons or is being made from a book for example you hit the jackpot because you will be able to watch or read what's available to get the vibe of their script you can also research the casting director director and producers behind the project to see the projects they have been a part of in the past for commercials simply watch some of the company's past advertising spots if you can't find much this way then see if you can find out more about where it will air like in a theater or on a network Sometimes this will help you get a sense of what type of content it will be. Initially, memorizing the lines is not what is most important. Breaking down the scenes and characters will help your child connect with their role and understand the emotion behind the lines. And how that feels. So it's going to be a kind of like a deep feeling. Now he has this, this other friend that he's connecting to. They kind of, they have to get through this challenge together. And she kind of likes him. She likes who he really is. You know what I mean? She likes who he wants, who the person that he knows he is and he wants to be. So you have to kind of portray that connection 
that you have with that with that other person and that's like your safe place right because you have all this stuff around you that's against you but this person is your safe place because you guys can get this together so just just think about like if you didn't have that safe person that person with you and you had to deal with what was happening in this film by yourself that would be even more scary for you but now you have an accomplice or like you have a partner you know to help you get through it all so you pretty much you know you did your research on the kind of films that these other directors and producers have already done mm -hmm. you've actually watched a couple yeah. tried <laughs> to watch them I like <laughs> you don't like them um you don't like you know i know you, you like you're more into like the comedy and stuff but um so you got to kind of feel the kind of work that they do um you know what network is on so you kind of know that it's not um, something that is like in the theater, kind of like because of the network that is on, you have space to be slightly cheesy, just slightly. Um, and I don't mean cheesy, I just mean like um, animated, like just slightly more animated, just a little bit, but it's drama. So we gotta make sure it's real life, but you, you really need to connect you really need to take a second and just think about what's actually happening in this book and then connect to it. Travis, in this situation. So in saying that, we'll probably, we probably should cut it off at this point because you probably have some more deeper stuff you want to talk about, but it might give away what project this is for. Mm. So we'll shut off the camera at this part. And I hope that actually helped you guys a little bit on how to <laughs> help your kids a little bit, just kind of talking to them, breaking things down for them. So while we were taping Travis's self-tape, we find out that Travis and, well, Travis Wolf Sr. and Ariel got a call back for an audition that they had about two days ago. So we're about to tell them. Guess what, guys? What? You guys got a call back already for your audition. So you get to a second audition. That means they liked you guys. Really? Yeah, so you get to audition again. This time we can prepare even better because we know what to expect. How'd you get already? Good job, Gary. You too, what you mean? Oh, me too, Rhonda. You guys got a call back. So that means you guys have a second audition. Gary got a call back? <laughs> From your audition. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we get to audition a second time. They liked you. They like daddy. Nice. He, that's a slow bird. He's <laughs> A slate is a very quick introduction to your self-taped audition. Be sure to read the instructions from casting very thoroughly because they will give you specifics to whether they want a full body slate, a verbal slate, or a type slate. Some want you to state different facts about yourself and the role you are reading for, and some just want your name, height, and age if you were under 18. If they don't specify that they want the slate before your audition or as a separate clip, then I suggest putting it after your audition so they don't judge you before they see your performance. I have a valid passport and I'm a serious regular on Bob Hart's Eddie Show on CBS. Elements of a good self-taped audition. Man, airplanes, trucks, trucks, and birds and dogs are the worst things They're always industry. there, but you just, you don't pay attention to them until you need quiet. And then you're like, like, that phone sounds are always there. But then the worst thing is on the eyes. Don't look down. Oh, never mind. I forgot what's the word. Action. You start off by looking at Yasmin with a thankful look. Well, those are our tips for today. If you like them, be sure to click like and also join our free Facebook group, Affirm Your Star, if you want to get more tips, tools, and resources because we have them there for parents just like you. For more tips on auditioning, be sure to watch these videos. We have seven self-tape tips for actors, eight tips on what not to do at acting auditions, and six tips on how to stand out at acting auditions.